After you've completed creating an Office 365 form, there are a couple of other settings that you can play around with before you send it off to your students. One of them being is applying a theme, and that just essentially changes the background of your particular form. So if you do have something that fits, for instance, this is a science form and we do have a science background, you can apply it to that. It just kind of makes it a little bit more colorful. But the other thing you have, when you go over to the send form option, you do have additional options to change some settings. So we have the link here that we can copy and paste and send to our students and they can start taking this. Um, but over here, again, we have who can fill out this form. By default, it will be only people in my organization. Below here where it says see all settings, you're going to see some additional settings that you can change. So in addition to making this available to people outside your organization, which means it wouldn't require them to log in with an Office 365 password, you do also have the ability to set a start date and an end date, meaning that this form would not be available until the time and the, the date that you specify in this setting over here. So if we wanted to start appearing today at 12 noon and we don't want anybody to be able to answer or submit answers after a certain date you can check off an end date and the form while the link will still be available nobody would be able to submit answers to it you also have the ability to shuffle questions so if this was an in-class quiz and you wanted the questions to be in different order you could check that off um, and then you have some other options down here. By default, it will display the correct answers to the students after they have submitted their form. If this is something perhaps that you're going to be doing in several periods during a class day, you might not want the students to see the answers immediately after. So you could uncheck that as well. So checking off or unchecking any of these things, again, will hold. You don't have to hit save or anything like that. We just check off what we want. We hit back and then you get your URL and you copy and paste it and again you send it to your students however you want. So these are just a few other different options that you have available to you in Office 365 forms.